this is the second lecture of uh, it says 2007 inside that if you're going to see previous class what we have discussed I'm going to possibly go through over there we have discussed all the data type previously uh, which we have mentioned text memo number date and time currency auto number yes no or the object hyperlink attachment and outlook sorry uh, look up better so these all data type we have discussed in the previous class right now we are going to go to the field properties that is field name and the field properties are available here but first of all for that I am going to create one table firstly go over to the create and table by design I am going to give here s underscore id student id okay and then I am going to give a data type auto number then name and then yes okay reserve word text control w save changes then is by name of stu okay then no primary key no right now go over to the properties of this stu first here data type auto number in an auto number if you're going to see these are the furthermore properties of a column auto type field size can be long and long integer or replicated id we have studied long integer and replicated id or not in a previous class in a previous class long integer have size that is equals to nearly equal to 65576 more than that it will take okay and replicated id 16 digit number okay mostly we use for what while we want to store a data of large large employees means just like if i'm going to say i want to store all the doctors of the world so in a simple long integer is not possible to save that what i'm going to use replicated id firstly i'm going to do that here if it is a long integer control w enter it in javad here masood so you can see that here it goes like that but if i'm going to change the data type to the replicated id so here if you can see control w save changes yes you lose the data control w save changes enter right now it is a 16 digit number or not check it out here one thing one thing more i'm going to enter a new record rf kamal so you can see that here 16 digit number is going to be given to every employee and every student or uh, what for what you have created this database okay so control w that was a what here that was a replicated id next one here this is a replicated id next one caption what is the use of caption while you want to give a field caption if you're going to use that property on a form go over create table uh, create a form for this go over create a form for this form look over here so what it will show here s underscore id or not s underscore id control w i want that it does not show s underscore id i want that it will show something different registration registration control w save changes right now create form of this table go over to create and form of this table here yeah, check it out what is right now showing registration okay previously it was showing s underscore id the field name is s underscore id but caption change that for a form caption change that for a form simple okay right now go over to the table design view again so that was uh, just caption index what is the use of index we will study index in a text in our data type no Right now I was talking about the index. What is the index? Basically the use of index speed up your search and sorting. Index do what? Speed up your search and sorting. But it create one problem. This was the advantage. Speed up your search and sorting. But it can, uh, what? It can slow down your update process. Slow down your update process. So one is the advantage, another one is disadvantage. Okay where on which column we are going to use while you want that if i'm going to index sid and if i'm going to select yes so on this field while you're going to search any data on this field so it will fastly find out that yes come in please it will fastly find out that 
and but the problem is there while you're going to enter inside something inside it so update it will take time in update it will take time here on which field mostly we use index i'm going to tell about here name or last name that is first name and this last name i'm going to create okay f underscore name first name oh not here f okay click directly here f underscore name and this is l underscore name or not for last name here text first name and last name or you can directly write full what i'm going to do here i am going to index is also available here or not yeah if i am going to select in l name index yes okay so it will fastly find out with a duplicated value control w so it changes done right here last name masood here khan law here kamal khan and arif jabbar Okay, so these names are entered. While you want to search here, if I am going to change the properties of that, what is there? Duplicate OK inside. Sorry, in last name, duplicate OK is active or not? Means it will fastly search through last name. If I am going to search a record through last name, so it will find it will search fastly and the update it will be slow. But it can also store duplicated value. It can also store. a duplicated value but if i am going to do here with the first name with the first name if i am going to go over to the here right index and i am going to select yes no duplication yes no duplication control w so if change is done yes try to change the table what i have done maybe two names with similar two names are there with the same first name so i am going to check that available design No, sorry. Control W here. Double click on table. Yes. Javad is two times there or not? Control W. Shift changes. Design of the table. Go over there. Go to the first name and index. Yes. But no duplication inside it. Control W. Shift changes done. Here. Double click on table. Right now, if I'm going to enter here, here Kamal. Here. What is there? You requested Kamal previously entered or not? No, no, no. It does not work like a primary key. It speed up your search and sorting. The filter may be done or the search may be done. What do I mean? Zud may be. Okay. But with the index, with the index, you can apply uniqueness also, or you can also allow duplicates. it depends upon your choice okay primary key is something else understand this thing okay so that is if i am going to write here kami so take it or not control w here so that was a uh, index come to the next field design here come to the id next one is one thing left use replicated id if i am not going to use replicated id another one table i am going to fastly create okay i will discuss that that is smart tag it is not showing with that okay come to the another one alignment while you going to enter a number where it is going to be shown to the left to the right to the <coughs> center okay journal so if i am going to say that it is going to be aligned to the left right or the center instead of that i am going to use just auto number but not replicated id simple long integer okay right or is not possible to convert that because data inside it is available okay so what i am going to do delete this column okay here long integer no here what i am going to do go over delete here delete this column go over right click on that delete this column sorry and row and then what i am going to do insert one more by name of what s underscore id and auto number okay right now if you going to see here input uh, incremented one more if it is a long integer so the number will be added inside it or number will be subtracted next number so that means incremented control w shift changes it is incremented look over here 3 4 5 here to 1 right now i'm going to enter one more here jamal 7 is coming or not 
Okay. Yeah, Jamal Khan. Okay, Jamal is there previously. Oh my God. Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, Yama. Khan. So you can see that enter record. But from 7 to 8, 11 one one number is adding or not? If I go over to the design and I am going to see why this 11 one one is adding because increment is there. What is there? Increment is there. If I am going to select random, if I am going to select random, what random means? Random means automatically it will create one number which is not known. Just like rent between function is for the kadi rent function is for the kadi In Excel we have discussed that or not. Same it is possible if I am going to select a rent number. Okay, rent. Yes, save changes done. Control W. Yes, save changes. Double click on table and check it out. Here for new record. For new record. Here I am going to write Osman. Here. Uh, Omar. So you can see that a number is going to be generated. A number is going to be generated which is a random number and we does not know what will be the next number. So this is the function of a random number or not. Okay, automatically generate that. Come to the design of a table again. Here, format. If you need some dollar sign, or if you need some point, if you need some euro sign fix, if you need these things, so just select that. Just like with the auto number, I need a dollar sign, but it is not good to show a dollar sign with a auto number. So I'm going to select that. Control W. Save changes done. We will select this format here. You can see the dollar sign is showing or not. Okay, we are going to use this with what? While we are going to apply a field where currency or where salary is there, and we need a salary in a currency. Okay, caption we have discussed or not? Caption and index we have also discussed or not? Smart tag. Smart tag is the new feature in Microsoft Office 2007. Smart tag. What is the use of smart tag? I want to link. Excel with the other programs of Microsoft. I want to link Excel to the other programs of Microsoft Excel, just like Outlook Express or some email facilities or these things. So by the help of Smart Tag, it is possible. With a auto number, we it does not apply that. With the first name, last name, email address, or with a website, we are going to apply these and you type type of the field. On which field we apply Smart Tag? On a First name, last name, here email address, website address. So with with that fields we are going to apply this smart tag, okay? Or with the phone number. So we are going to apply this thing. Right now I'm going to create a uh, here with a uh, first name, okay? And I'm going to go to the smart tag. Is there available or not? We will discuss there also. But right now if I'm going to click here, I need a personal numbers email address schedule meeting open contact and ok so it has been connected to the outlook express control w first name here double click on table if you can see the small button is showing or not previously available no what is the use of that i want to make a mail to jimmy clicking on that personal jimmy send mail Right now you can see Outlook has, has been open or not. Jimmy is showing or not. Okay. And Outlook Express has been connected to the excess. Connected to the excess. Okay. So same like if I am going to apply on email address. My column jod make on my field jod make on banao me Email address. On me smart tag active make on me bone me field. Okay. So directly clicking on that Outlook will open and you can mail over there. Simply, you can mail using Outlook Express. Okay, or if I'm going to click over here, open contact, add a contact. Okay, I want to add a contact to the contact list. And I mean by contact list, add message. Jimmy, company phone, business phone number, this, all this, you can save. So this is the feature of a Microsoft, and you can utilize with a Excel. Clear? What is smart tag? Okay, next field come to the design and alignment. I've told you while you want the text will be at the left side, right side. I'm going to use to the right side. Control W, save changes done. Here, double click on table where it is. The right side or not? 
control w i need to the left side here design go over to the to the left side control w so it changes done double click on table and check it out to the left side it is available or not so you can change the formatting of these thing where we are going to put next one that was for auto number we have discussed for auto number we have discussed here one thing more left right center distribute your dolly distribute means at the both side at the both side indent is going to be created so that was a distribute okay that was just for auto number we have discussed next one for a field like i am going to create a field here <coughs> i am going to create a salary let's suppose okay so salary will be a number or not so for number i am going to do formatting this i am going to discuss for number then we will go to the text and then we will go to the dates okay so for number long integer so all these we have discussed in a previous class or not byte integer long integer single double replicated id and decimal in a previous class we have discussed that okay come to the formats while you want that a salary will come but along with that dollar sign euro sign or something like that percentage or this will show so by the help of format is possible so clicking on that what do you need a dollar sign okay but if i'm not going to do control w simple number enter that come here and enter amount okay in a point i'm going to enter 22.45 so 45 has been removed or not why because integer long integer means that point value will be not there okay so i am going to enter here 480 control w save changes done here again come to the design table here we are going to do selecting this field and i am going to do what here format if you need dollar sign or euro sign okay dollar currency dollar sign i have selected control w save changes done enter the table and check it out automatically dollar sign is showing or not any amount if you going to enter here yeah, 750 dollar automatically dollar is coming right now mostly the student asks it is possible that we are going to use a uh, afghani currency by default it is not there by default it is not there we are going to create that but the problem is that that calculation will not apply on that <coughs> okay i am going to create right right now today but the problem will be that if you going to as sum all the salary on me sum namesha chiru ke on me tabdil mesha but text that field is going to be changed to the text if number is going to be converted to the text so you cannot apply any calculation on that okay so we will discuss that here come to the number and currency next one decimal places means after point how many digit will show after point how many digit will show i am going to select 3 i'm going to select 3 but it will not take because long integer is there what is that long integer it will show three zeros but it will not store that data will be not stored over there control shift changes check it out here i'm going to enter 385.226 i've entered that 0.226 has been removed or not after point three zeros are showing but it is a long integer so therefore it cannot support that it cannot support that control w again go over there design number and right now decimal place input mask input mask by the help of this is quite complicated thing input mask is input mask is quite complicated thing by the help of input mask we can format ourselves or format our column okay most students or teachers are confused about confused about input mask okay input mask okay so we will we cannot apply input mask on a number we can apply input mask on two types of data types while you have a text or date and time the field name will be a text or data time if it is not text and data time we cannot apply input mask on that if i am going to apply input mask on number check it out what it says to you save here what it says to you the input mask wizard will not uh, sorry only works on text and date field types next one here coming to the number while we finish the number we will discuss text 
Uh, inside that we will discuss input mask okay so next one default value if i'm oh here first of all caption same we have discussed in the first field uh, auto number or not okay if i'm going to apply salary here i'm going to write caption here total salary okay control w save changes if i'm going to create form of this table so what is going to show here total salary and in our field name is simple salary or not but in the forms or report it will show what total salary again come to the design of the table and we will discuss furthermore come to the here next one uh, default value default value if i am not going to enter any number what will automatically come over here if i am not going to enter any number in this field which number or which data will automatically come over here so i am going to enter default value $1,000. Okay, let's suppose control W, save change is done. Enter that. Why is it for new record? For new record. If it is for all, so for salary, no. For new record. Okay, if I'm going to enter here, oh, again. So if you know, here automatically 500 is coming or not? If I'm not going to enter, automatically 500. But you can change that. Okay, I'm going to give to a 450. 450. Understand? Default value. If you are not going to enter, automatically what value it will take? By name, just like Control W. On a last name, I'm going to do that last name. Default value, I'm going to give here Khan. Khan, control W, so change is done. Here, come on, it's not going to make Automatically, Khan may and I may. Okay, here, uh, Rafi Khan. You can see that? And salary automatically 500 is coming or not? That is default value. Next one here, come to the here, validation rule and validation text. If I want to stop somebody to make a wrong entry inside the column, so we can use by, by the help of what validation rule it is possible to do. How validation rule? I want that less than that number is not going to be entered, greater than that is not going to be entered in this column. Salary, Mosh, Payan, Sesad, enemy column, Name, Era. Less than $300 I cannot enter. So, how I am going to do that? Here, what I am going to apply here, just use less than sign. Sorry, here, greater than sign means always greater than 300. Always greater than 300. Here, check it out. Zoomer, I am going to apply zoomer. What I have entered in a validation rule, greater than 300. Okay, save the table, control W. Save the table, yes, done. Check it out. Oh, data integrity problem is there. Previously, some data is there which okay. I'm going to delete those records which does not have an empty record. So delete this record which does not have a data. Okay, I'm going to fastly enter that. Yeah, no. 450, 450, yeah, 400, 600, 320, oh no, 6 and 30 and 400, 450. Okay, right now I'm going to apply. If the data is not correct inside the table, you cannot apply such a rule. Okay, come to design again, salary, and if it is greater than 300, control W, save changes. Right now, check it out. Design, I'm no sorry, open that table and I'm going to enter a salary. 450, no, here 200. Error made, error made. So it means less than less than 300 it will not take that 300 am na me gira or i'm going to say that less than less than because we've used it should be greater than 300 so 301 okay if i'm going to enter 301 so it will, oh, oh here yeah, 301 so it will take that or not okay but if you want that it will take 300 so go to the design and we're going to use a uh, salary greater than equal to just for the measure, greater than or equal to, okay. So this is possible to do so. We can also use less than, greater than or equal to. One field is there where marks is there. 
तो मार्क्स कैन बी ग्रेटर देन वन हंड्रेड बॉल एज सर मेशर न मेशर ओके सो वट वी गोइंग टू डू हियर वी गेन टू अप्लाई Yes. Here we are going to apply an integrity rule on a field. Here, let's suppose another table is there. Here, marks is inside any table there. Okay. For in this table, I am going to go to the design and create here marks, marks column. Okay. And the type will be what number. I am going to apply validation rule that it should be greater than, greater than how much? Zero. Greater than zero. Bala is zero. Bosho opayan sad here and less than one hundred. So what I have written here? What I have written here and uh, just greater than zero and less than one hundred. So if you are going to enter marks inside this field, so automatically it will tell you that you are not going to do any integrity rule is going to be disturbed. Okay, decrease the zoom size, and I'm going to do for with a table this one. Okay, marks here fifty, forty-nine. It will take that here fifty-five. It will take that. I'm going to enter here one twenty-two. You can see that. Yeah. Instead of twenty-two, I by mistake I have entered one twenty-two. I'm going to enter minus five marks. My ex shagird man ki five marks mein tam. Oni mi kabul mein kuna no. Because in a database we have told we have said that that less than zero marks it will not take that. Okay, so by the help of that rule it is possible to do so. Understand? Or okay, it takes Nishan Mehta. We can arrange this text also by ourselves. Okay, how it is possible? Control W. Okay, okay. Here 22. Control W. So if changes Control W. Control W. Here go to design of a table, design view, and right now go to the marks field. And here, this is validation text, which message will show? Validation text. I am going to write here. Please enter marks between what? Zero and zero. Instead of zero, I write O. Oh, zero and one hundred. Control W, save changes. Check it out table. I'm going to enter 88. Yes, here 77 or 177. Okay, so this is what validation text. Validation text. Control W, OK, OK. Delete that. 77 can be possible. Enter. Control W. Right now, again, next column is. Okay, that was the number validation text. Required or not required? What it means? If in a field, if you're going to make an entry, okay, the entry na make kuna or by next record me. Kabul me kuna or na me kuna on me field. On me record kabul me kuna ya na me kuna. I have not entered employee name. I have not entered employee name, and I have entered phone number, and I'm going to the next record. So it's possible. I have not entered employee name. I have entered phone number. Only but the record me wrong. In a new who was any? Halatas. Halatas kena because whose number is that? Whose number is that? So we are going to for those field which are necessary field. Those field which are necessary field. So for that we are going to make required yes. Those are which are we can say that not compulsory field. So for that we are going to use required no. I am going to create a table here. Name. Okay. Here marks control X. Here one more column I am going to create insert row. And there is last name. That is let's suppose F name. First name. First underscore name. Text last name. And one more column. I'm going to create phone, and it will be number. Okay, check it out here. Pressing Control W, save changes. If I'm going to here, if I'm going to enter a first name, last name, kai yagam enter na mere ko na, banu record mere hai na mere. Okay, so this is totally wrong or not? Totally wrong. I'm going to write enter here, Jawad. Okay, and last name is Khan. 
okay and marks i'm not going to uh, no full number so this is what we can do we are going to make compulsory fields that these fields are necessary ka enemy enter name hai ki nahi cursor badigar record na mera okay so how it is possible first of all you going to delete this record because while well, we going to do that delete yeah these two also i am going to delete or not okay last name i am going to pass me enter that yeah uh phone number okay, control w right now go to the table design and here the if i am going to go to the first name first name required or not first name required no if i am going to make it yes first name is necessary or not my ag nafar ya ag shagird registration number me tam first name ko enter me karam ye na me last name ko na me na dar tanha naam chi as alias so it's not necessary to enter a last name it is not necessary to enter a last name or last name ka no me sha ich mushkil ne as but if marks mask marks hum ka no me sha khair as on imtihan na da da so what will be there marks will be we are not going to enter marks but phone number i am going to take which is necessary lazmi or compulsory it is there so i am going to make it what required yes but it will make a refreshment integrity rule again because of the some fields are there in which phone number is not entered here i am going to 7888001234 here and 7888 Double zero two double three and here right now I'm going to enter this record. Okay, check it out. Marks I'm not here. Marks I'm not going to enter. Ah uh, here and phone number I'm not going to enter. So the rule has not been applied yet. I think so. I'm going to check it again. Seventy-seven and seven triple eight double zero 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 zero. Control W. Here right now again I'm going to check the rule has been applied or not. Which was the rule on a phone we have applied that. required yes and first name required yes last name no okay control w save changes again check it out i am going to enter a new record new record ma first name last name and i'm enter name ekno i'm pressing tab na mera ban next record here first name last name enter me ekno khan tab 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 check it out what it shows first name field must should have some value we do need that kabul na me ko na okay so click on okay first name i am going to write here okay kamran and la phone number am enter na ga di mole bahut enemy kabul na me ko na because why these fields are compulsory so we have required uh, selected over there yes so therefore without that it's not possible to enter record okay 7 7 7 7 control w save changes right now come to the design again so on required you have understand that or not number required or not required index we have talk about that or not index index if you going to use for fast search so or sorting so for that we use index next one here is smart tags found here on this smart tag okay and text alignment also found here on this come to the another data type which is about text right now we will discuss with text first of all field size is there first of all field size means the length of the field how many character can come on that field how many character can come in that field 200, 255 i can make it 25 i can make it okay text here i can make it 25 if it is long so it will waste your space in a ram because this is online Well, uh, uh, the data is available on a uh, first of all in a primary memory then it stores to the hard disk so if field size is bigger so it will use your ram more okay so i am going to make it 25 which is a maximum next one here control w more than 25 character it will not support that check it out first name 25 okay lose the data no i am going to lose the data 25 character first name 25 character i am going to further more enter it will not support that okay more than that 25 character it will not support that so here it is necessary okay i am going to enter this record delete that i don't need okay
Control W. Right now, next one is a uh, first name here format. In a format, basically the format is not going to be done directly. Okay, the format we are going to apply the format on the behalf of input mask. Okay, for a text here. First of all, I am going to do with the text, then coming to the number. First of all, I am going to do with the text, then coming to the number. Go to the input mask, save this. Okay, mostly we applied. If I am going to enter phone number, if I am going to enter phone number in our table, so big problem is there. It cannot support zero. It cannot support zero. So how we are going to enter zero over there? Save changes. Yes, done. Okay, check it out again. Control W, right click, design here. If I am going to come to the phone number, if data type is number, you cannot enter zero at the start. I want to enter zero at the start. So how? Change the data type from number to the text and go to the input mask. Go to the input mask. Clicking on that, save the table right now. You can see phone numbers are there or not. But this phone number which is there, this is European standard. In a uh, America in a British this standard is followed. So if I'm going to click on next, okay, here placeholder next without symbols, okay, finish that. So right now check it out, control W. If you're going to enter phone number in a table, so it shows like that or not. But I don't need like that. I don't need like that. But I don't need like that. I need a phone number which is available in Afghanistan at the start zero. So how it is possible? Save changes. Yes, done. Okay, okay, okay. The problem is there. While you're going to enter record, so it needs first name and phone number. Here, Yama, control W right now. Again, come to a design table and here in a phone, the data type is text. I don't need like that. I don't need like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go and here clicking on that, save the table, yes. Click on next. What is going to be done? We're going to change this thing. We're going to change this thing. How I'm going to change at the start zero. Just increase, I'm going to increase the size, okay? So that is visible to you. Here, at the start, I'm going to enter zero. How? In inverted commas, write zero. This is inverted commas. After that, three digits or not? Four digit we are going to use zero. Four digit what we are going to use? Zero. In Excel it was hash or not? One, two, three zeros. Okay? And after that how many? Minus sign. Both enemy? One, two, three, four, five, six. Your mobile numbers like that or not? Control W. Okay, no, no, control W. Here, placeholder is underscore. Means, what enemy can enter me? You can show me the underscore. Okay, click on next. You can try it here also. Look over here. This is, this is underscore. Seven, triple eight, double zero, nine one nine. Okay, so correctly entered or not? Means, you can check, verify it here. Click on next. Here. If you want that without the sample, it will store or with sample. Now with sample store, me ko ne, ko muskil chias ko direct enter ko. I want to store without sample. Means it will be a number. Looks like a number. So we are going to select without the sample mask. It will store the data. Click on finish. Right now, check it out. Control W. Save changes. Then enter the number, mobile number over there. So formatted or not? Seven. I am going to write directly, look, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Clear or not? How are we going to enter a mobile number correct? With plus 9, 3 if you are going to do, also possible. With plus 9, 3, also possible. How? Right click, design, go over to the phone and go over to the, delete this one, go over to the button of this, save this right now. Click on next. Here. I am going to go over, enter. Inverted commas, first of all, here, plus 93, this will automatically come. After that, minus, okay, and how many zeros? Three zeros, okay, one, two, three, then minus, and one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. I need for a, uh, it will show hash. Wakhte nami kama inter me kuna, bajaya underscore chini shon me ta? Hash in the Here, this is known as a placeholder. Next, 
finish that and check it out control w so if change is done double click on table here right now i'm going to enter mobile number here this one delete i'm going to enter mobile number here seven oh for this it has been arranged or not okay, plus nine three is coming seven triple eight so you can see that here has it showing or not triple eight double zero nine one six so you can see that but if you're going to enter automatically hash is showing or not so it depends upon your choice how you're going to okay 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 no here double zero one two three control w let us see how we're going to enter phone number but you can make an input mask of a different thing just like this one one created i am going to enter password ya fill jor me karam password password data type will be text but i want that what i am going to enter it is not going to be shown on me malum na me nishan na me ta okay so what i am going to do go over to the input mask go to the input mask and just tanhanishta ko password jor me sha khud control w so if change is done enter the table check it out i am going to write here ali nishan me ta masood no here jawad 123 nishan na me ta all the chiragam again it will going to be shown as a normal text so on the kudam jay password nishta kadi unni delete ko jod me sha here right click design view go over there here ba password here delete this thing control w so change is done check it out the table understand this control w right now if you does not know the text that which text i am going to use so inside that input here input mask click over here this button save the table here password is there or not click on next here and finish that as khud password amada hai na amada okay so this is how we can utilize that that for a text if i want that for first name and last name that was that was for number i want that it will take currency of one i want that it will take currency of one at the end of one is going to be written so i have created that i have created that just okay delete this field i don't need that delete yes phone number mark salary here and it will be text because we are going to apply go over to the go over to the input mask clicking on this button and see if changes done here if you can see afwani phone number is there afwani currency i created yet okay no i'm going to create it right now okay click on next here what we going to do we are going to use a uh, just write 999 12 okay 9 in a bracket use no need of bracket here 9 how many nines you going to use okay means optional nine to mono dara optional ka number enter me kuni na me kuni it mushkil hai sirf aur mono enemy dara ki it is compulsory necessary to enter that okay and here exclamation marks and inverted commas right afg afg control w try again here check it out chor so the pin job yes okay click on next finish that control w so if change is done double click on table and check it out here 2500 enter so the one again okay but i have told you problem is there yag mushkil hai okay instead of instead of 9 if i am going to use 0 in a input mask मुश्किल चीज पैदा में कि चिक अदर जीरो इंटर में कि ओनेमी का सैलरी इंटर में कि ओनेमी हां डिजिट ओनेमी का डिजिट हम सैलरी इंटर में कि लो गो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीट दैट नो नीड ऑफ दैट हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एंटर एनी नंबर इट विल टेक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एंटर जस्ट 100 इट विल टेक दैट और नॉट ओके बट प्रॉब्लम इनसाइड दिस इज यू कैन नॉट डू कैलकुलेशन प्रॉब्लम इनसाइड दिस इज यू कैन नॉट डू कैलकुलेशन ऑन दैट फील्ड डिलीट डिलीट ओके कंट्रोल डब्ल्यू चेक इट आउट come to the input mask again of a salary and i'm going to delete and instead of that i'm going to use another one technique here what was that here next here i'm going to use a uh, 
and then I am going to use what? In inverted commas, I am going to use AFG. So, control W. Okay, no. Click on next. User define. Next. Finish. Here, yeah, control W. Right now, check it out the problem. Must zero is the further gather. All it must must enter make on them. After do C dollar na me gira. Chiro, ke na me kulish nista me gune. Chika da digit is on me kulish nista me gune. For khatera na me, the more I am going to enter two digits or three digits, so I am going to use optional for that. And optional for that we are going to use nine nine nine. Okay. So and exclamation mark and exclamation mark. And if I am going to write Ali here. Text kabul na me guna. If I'm going to write text over here, so it is not going to be taken. Control W. The previous one was like that or not? Come to the salary. How I've created that? Clicking on this one. Again, click on uh, here. Next, no problem. Here and delete this. What I've written here. Nine, nine, nine. How many nines you going to write? And then exclamation mark. Increase the view so that it's visible to you. Exclamation mark. Okay. And then what I've written? A F G. Clear? Placeholder was underscore some other placeholders are there. It depends upon your choice. Which placeholder you want to use? Which placeholder you want to use? I'm going to use underscore. It's quite good. Here. Next one is next. Finish that and try that. Control W. Right now, the problem I'm going to show you here. I'm going to enter salary. 450. Here 700. Here 2800. Here. 1800, 18,000, and 5400. These salaries are entered. If I'm going to sum them, if I'm going to sum them, so look over here the problem. Database tools and go over to data sheet. Okay, where was that? Uh, I think so. Home. Yes, available over here. Filter, record. Yes, more and total. Total is there or not? On this, I'm going to apply total. So go over to the home, and I'm going to apply total. Chinishon meta, na meta. If I'm going to clicking on this button here, check it out here. This is the total column. Okay, here total is there? No. Count is there? Just count make na, but you cannot sum them. Clear? Why? Because it has been converted to the text. It has been converted to the text, so we cannot apply furthermore calculation on that. Go to your design and check it out. Next one here, Avani default value input mass. Okay, here one more input mass for a text that was for now. For one more, uh, I'm going to enter for first name. Ka first name enter me guni kulish colon nishan meta kulish. Colon nishan meta. How I am going to do that? Go to the input mask and just write some text here. How I am going to write here? Greater than. Okay. Here. Greater than. Al nishta ko bod enemy question mark. Means uppercase. L stand for uppercase. Greater than and uppercase. Check it out. Okay. Control W. And save changes. Control W. Yes. Right now. As hot colon should the initial. Shumanista make on the anime con as hot colon misha. I am going to write here. Caps lock is off. Here. Forward. Automatically it will write a uppercase. Okay. Forwardula. Here. You can see that. And uh, seven. Let's suppose a number. Here. One more thing. Four number is not entered. Okay. 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 Go over there. Design. Right now. If I need just first character capital. I need first character capital both enemy for this time okay go over to the first name and greater than L and here I use less less than chase the father here means first character will be capital then less than sign and then question mark okay control W and check it out right now table entered a j y m is capital or not or am I now now Mr. Megram? Here, Masoud. As for them, capital Megram and Megram. Here, first one. Automatically, F is going to be written capital. Clear this thing or not? 
if you want to write a first character capital if you want to write a whole ca uh, characters capital if you want that all will be small خورد نشته میشه کلش که کالون کپس لاغ هم آن میکنه و باید نمیم نشته میکنه و نمی خورد نشته میکنه so how by the help of we are going to use less than sign okay how I am going to tell you how it is possible design here for last name جور میکنم okay for last name input box I am going to use less than L less than L and what I am going to use after that question mark 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, I have used that. Right now, control W, so if change is done. Here, and go over to the table, enter that. Here, I have activated cap lock. Cap lock, I have activated that. Okay. But it will write small. You can check it out. Uh, on screen keyboard, or key. On screen keyboard. Here, cap lock is on or not? Cap lock is on but if I'm going to write here last name so it is going to write small OSK on screen keyboard okay here I'm going to write here okay so right now automatically it will write small what the code I input box I have used control W what the code I have used over there right click on that design view go to the input mask of uh, last name so less than L means letter L's mean letters, okay, and less than sign means small. Question mark means optional. How many characters are there? Optional, that much characters are there. So that is input mask for that. Next one here is that was a text. No. Here, furthermore, uh, caption we have discussed default value. Default value, found the found شروع نا تا چیچ نشتا نا میکنی از خود چی میایی خان با نمبر یا با ٹیکس پلش یا گرکم است نیست دیفارمنٹ یا and next one is a validation rule خان دیا نا خان دیا validation rule validation text required while you are going to require also this is necessary field or it is not necessary field ok کار required یا سپوشا it is necessary to enter that record enter that value to save that record Okay, but if it is no, not necessary to enter that value for saving the record. Okay, next one is allow zero length. If I am going to enter, it will not take uh, any one single character within that character. Can enter me kuni on me record me kira na me kira means length. It depends upon allow zero length, yes or no. If I am going to select zero length na me kira means empty cell, it will not take that. Empty cell, it will not take that. So we are going to use what allow zero length. No, but if you want that, it will take that. So yes, we are going to apply that. Okay, means characters. Zero length means how many characters? Means if there is no character inside it, it will take that or not take that. So this is simple. Allow zero length. Indent. We have studied that or not? Indexed. Okay, for searching here, Unicode compression. What is Unicode compression? If you want to enter the other languages in a field, Dari, Pashto, Arabic. Okay. So Urdu in the, uh, in the field, so by the help of Unicode, by the help of Unicode, it is possible to do so, okay? So how it is possible right now? If it is yes, then it is possible. If it is no, so then it is not possible, okay? So control W, right now. If I am going to, this Unicode compression is used for, if it is no, so we cannot enter other languages. We cannot enter other languages. But if it is yes, we can use other languages just like Dari, Pushto, Arabic and Farsi are these things, okay? Furthermore, IME mode. Bas basically, IME mode is used for Japanese language, okay? If you can see inside it, IME control, here, Hiragana, Japanese or Hangul, yes, uh, Hangul, so that is Japanese. While you want to enter Japanese language in a field, so for that they have created that. For that, this uh, IME mode has been created. In a field, if you're going to enter the Japanese character, so by the help of that, this is possible. <coughs> IME standard sentence here. IME sentence mode is there. While wants that the field can take a sentence of a Japanese language. So here, furthermore, if you're going to see here, what is there? Phrase, phrase. Predicted or plural clause or conversation means while you're going to select a IME. Okay, IME mode. I'm going to select here 
Hirogano and furthermore this one I am going to select here phrase so it will take a sentence in a Japanese language okay but we have no concern with the Japanese leave this I am me we have no concern with these two I am me so leave that smart tag honde ya na honde smart tag okay here I am going to apply a last name so means I can mail that I can save a record means connecting other Microsoft Office pro Microsoft programs with a access Align text to the left or to the right to the journal. It is to the right. I want to show in the center. Last name will show in the center. Here, go over. Last name is showing in the center or not? Okay. So that was alignment about a text. Number previously we have discussed. Number previously we have discussed. Text right now we have discussed. The last thing is a date and time. We will finish that and then the date and time. Salary date of joining. Yeah, I'm on the date of here. Date of joining. I'm going to give data type date and time here. But in date and time, furthermore, properties are there. Format. How I'm going to create a format? Control W. Save changes done. Here, if you're going to enter date and time of a specific record, so I'm going to do here 26 slash. First of all, you're going to enter month, then date, then year. Always, okay? I'm going to enter 6 slash 22 slash 2012. So, enter or not? Same like if I'm going to enter here, we can also use a date picker. We can also use a date picker. And date picker is this one. This is a date picker. And we're going to select from that and we're going to enter a date. But if you want that the format of date is going to be changed, Go to the design furthermore. Right now, I'm going to do inside it changing the date of joining format. In a format, look over here. Different formats are there. Which one you like, so that is going to apply. If I'm going to select a long date, I'm going to select what? Long date. Control W, save changes, done. Double click on field and right now check it out. So here, day is also showing, month in our English is also showing. Uh, here date in two digit and furthermore year is also shown so that is what long date for me control w so if change is done right click on that design if you're going to do here select date of joining and instead of long date i'm going to use short date okay so here medium date so control w so if change is done double click on table and check it out medium date 22 June. I'm going to enter simple and it will automatically convert that automatically convert that i'm going to enter here <coughs> Here month 5 slash 18 slash 2012 has been converted or not okay but if you need just month if you need just year if you need just uh, date will show also possible how are you going to do that go over to the field date of joining and go over there I am going to do here month okay so I am going to write month in this yes okay reserve word text and it will be date and time and I am going to in a format what I am going to do I am going to write by myself a specific month over here so how I am going to write here write just mm what I am going to write mm or four times if I am going to write m or three times okay here three times m control w save changes done check it out I am going to write date in this field 17 sorry 6 or 5 4 slash 17 slash 2012 APR nishan APR mean April ok here I am going to go over design furthermore I am going to go to the design here control C copy and here I am going to go to the design of a field here enter that here again control W design just check it out the codes what I am going to use here and instead of 3 M's I am going to use 4 M right now it will write full month June J U N E June July J U L Y July and December D C M B R if it is 3 characters so 3 will show but if 4 so full will show control W so if change is done enter and check it out here here 12 slash uh, 22 slash 2012 okay here if you want that design I'm going to use in a month okay date of joining I'm going to change that 
just I need what it will show delete that I need that it will show just month and year tarikh nishan na meta month and year so how it is possible I am going to write mm two times or four times three times four times how many times three times okay and then slash what I am going to do is y y y y four times y means year in a four digit 2012 2000 2012 or simple 12 if you can use control w save changes yes done right now check it out month and year nishan meta hai na meta month and year so it depends upon your choice how you need that how you need that come to the design view and come to the date of joining if you need it will show date date but just saturday sunday monday but it will not show uh, the specific I'm going to use it will not show date but day will show so I'm going to use D D D D four times D. so Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday it will show that control W save changes done here enter that and check it out the correct full date is there I'm going to enter here uh, first slash first slash 2013 here 2013 it will be on Tuesday. The new year will be on a Tuesday. Okay. Here. So that was. I am going to write fastly the codes. Okay. Just check it out. Here. Simple D for one character. 2D for two characters. Okay. Slash month MMM. Slash YY. If I want to the Tanha 12. Okay. So YY. I want 2012. So 4Y I am going to use. Control W. Save changes done. Enter that and check it out. Here, so this format is showing or not? Okay, Control W. I need day. I need day will also show. Go over to the date of joining and before that write DD. Before that write four times D. One, two, three, four, and then space. Okay, Control W. Save changes done. Enter that. Friday. Bode nami. Four times D. Nishta kadi. Bode nami college date nishta kadi. So you can got that. So this is the way how you're going to arrange your date. Here, come to the date of joining. Just give me two minutes more. Here, input mask. We have discussed that by help of input mask. Also possible. These are input mask for date and time. These are input mask for date and time. Here, caption, validation rule. All these we have discussed. All these we have discussed. One thing, show date picker is there. Show date picker, which is a new thing over here. What is that? Here, never. Control W, save changes done. Right now, if you go over to the date, here, that's, that box is going to be shown where you're going to select a date. No. But for this one, it will show that. For this, it is showing or not? This one. So, this is a date picker. It is available with that? No. Because we have removed. Show the date picker? Never. But if I want to apply, that date picker will show. So, right click, design, and go to the date of joining, and select what? Show date picker. Yes, always. And for dates, so right now control W, so if change is done and check it out. Date picker is available or not. So this is a date picker. So we have discussed all these which are required properties for a date, time and furthermore which we have discussed. Enough for today. Thank you for listening to me and this was the second lecture.